lose the object on the screen, the very first thing I'm going to draw is an horizontal line in this form. After that, I'm going to draw my vertical line in this manner. All right, then I'm going to what? project my isometric planes. So the object on the screen is given in first angle orthogonal projection, and we are to convert it to isometric. So our NV is towards the left hand side, while our front is towards what? Towards the right hand side. All right. So considering uh, the front view, considering front view, the total height from the base here is what? The total height is seventy. Okay. So I'm marking what? Seventy. So take note of that. So from our end view, from the top to the bottom, downward here is what is twenty. I mark what twenty. And from our end view, from the bottom here, upwards a little is what is ten. I mark what ten. So these three points, I am going to what project them on my what on my isometric plane. Okay, I haven't projected those three points on the isometric plane. Okay, so from my end view, from my end view, uh, from this front here, I'm having mark of what mark of twenty on this front here. Okay, and that's it. After 20, I'm having what? Uh, mark of 10. Then another mark of what? 20. Okay. Now I was told that the total span from here to here for my end result is 70. So with mark 70, I'm having this right here. So those points, I'm going to project them vertically. Okay, then I'm going to project them towards this area on my what on my isometric plane also. Okay, so from our front view, the thickness from this area is down here is what is 20. After mark of 20, we have another mark of what 50. Then another mark of what? Another mark of 20. And we told that the total span from here to here is what is 130. Okay, so I'm going to mark that also. Span of what 130. So I'm going to project all these points vertically. So then I'm going to project them also on the what horizontal plane on each of the points. So this mark here now is going this way. So this point here from the top here is going what this way. This area is going what this way. And this area from the bottom here is going what this way. Then uh, this junction here this is going. Uh, this way yes and this area here is coming this way okay i don't know that i'm going to trace out my real uh parts so from here to the bottom here from here to the bottom here likewise also from here to this area here from here to this area here all right so then i'm going to what zip them up here and uh here then this comes right here this starts from here then this comes right to the bottom here considering our front view okay so this comes right to the bottom here also and this comes right to the bottom yeah okay then i'm going to extend this up to the mark of 130 right here in this manner okay this comes right here this goes right here okay so this comes right here yes then this so from the mark of 50 this comes right here Likewise, this starts from here and comes down here. So then we close it up right here in this manner. Okay, so to this mark of 20 right here, this comes here and this comes here. Okay, yeah, to the bottom here, to the bottom here. Then in this way okay so we are going to project uh this area downwards okay so this area comes right here in that manner then it covers up 
right here okay then this area is going to come this way comes this way okay so let me retrace this area out all right so what we are left with now is to uh develop this area comes right here this one comes here that's the map of 70 this comes right here then isometrically isometrically this covers it up right there okay on this axis here we have a cylindrical only of diameter 10 and we do that from the edge 10 inwards from this edge 10 inwards so then i'm going to project them okay so from this point of 10 i strike a line in this manner and from this point of 10 also i strike a line in this manner okay. so having it this way i'm going to pick my compass and measure five so from the midpoint here five five then five and what and five so on those points which i marked just now so the first point of five here so what you are creating is what is an isometric circle okay so we join the longest parts together in this manner then the diagonals, the first one here, second one here, this to this, and this to this. The next thing is pick my compass and what and develop my circle. If you don't understand this principle, we are applying the principle of isometric circle here. So you can just look through my channel. Yeah, check through the videos there. I have a tutorial video on isometric circle or isometric curve also. Okay, the isometric circle there is what is already produced. Okay, so on the outside here, we also have the circle of what of uh, diameter 10. And we told that the height of the midpoint of that circle from the bottom here is what is 45. Is 45. So with my ruler, I measure 45 from the bottom. Okay, so this is the bottom here, and this is the mark of what of 45. And this mark of 45 circle of diameter 10 so i'm measuring what five towards the top here and five towards the bottom here okay so then i'm going to project those points now okay so we are told that from here towards the midpoint of that circle is what is also what 10. so this mark 10 right there so from right there five inwards then what another five outwards i'm going to project those ones vertically now okay having this way i'm going to develop my what my isometric shape so drawing the diagonal then from this down here from this area to that side from this down there from this down there so with my compass i draw okay so the isometric circle here is also well developed so on the inside here we have an isometric circle of diameter what diameter 24 and how do we develop that how do we develop that okay so yeah from the bottom here we are going to measure uh 45 okay so that's the height on 45 okay then from this area we measure uh 25 so this 25 on that 25 we measure 12 towards this area then 12 towards this area here so i'm going to project those points out now Okay, so from this midpoint now, measure 
are twelve towards the top and towards the bottom. So with your compass, measure twelve. So we twelve on my compass from the center here. Okay, so I'm measuring towards the bottom and what and towards the top. So with those areas marked out, I'm going to project it isometrically to form a what isometric box where we develop our isometric circle. Okay, set it. So that's it. So what's next? The next thing is I'm going to pick my ruler, join the longest diagonal from this manner, then from this area down here from this area down here from this area down there from this area down here then the next is i'm going to pick my compass with my compass right here and from this area we won't show it here so we would taking just this out of here okay so the other part is hidden right here then placing it here also from this area here i draw it this way okay then from the junction here okay so it's what it's developed right here all right so this other part i was uh, eating and from our front view this area is going to come this way then this area also will what come in this manner okay so compare this view now taking our front view from this direction then our energy from this direction in first angle autograph projection so this same kind of hole is actually present somewhere at the back here, but we can't see it because what this area is what is blocking it. All right. So this is the complete interpretation of the question on the screen into what into a full isometric drawing. Kindly subscribe to this channel and also revise to your friends who might be in need of it. Thank you.